What's up, YouTube? Just making another video, bringing it back to you. I've got this awesome glow gnome, making it happen. Glow paint, it's fun. So what I'm doing is just at random I'm trying to add some like color into this background right now. Eventually we're gonna we're gonna add some like highlights, low lights, all that stuff. But when you're doing space and you're doing this kind of like galaxy look, it's very messy, it's very messed up. You totally can make mistakes. Alright? So don't ever worry about perfection when you're trying to do this galaxy look, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this little inner area here because I'll put the moon eventually right over there. But in these other areas, oh, look at that. I got a little bit of red on this bad boy and create a little bit of purple, but don't worry. Some people might be like, oh my God, you messed up, you made a mistake. Don't even worry about it. I want you to do that. I want you to make mistakes. I want you to just have some fun with this. Look at that. I'm just putting some paint, plopping it on this canvas. No big deal. What is? What I want to do is at least get some color on here. Then we'll start adding some layers. Don't even worry about it. I got you. So with this painting, we're actually laying the foundation work first. And then we're gonna add some like really cool specific things to go right on top of this painting. And you'll see what I mean as we kind of continue on. But I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some darker features as we head down. I only want highlights going a certain amount from our light source, which we will be making eventually. But as you can see, I'm just adding some blending techniques. I'm using a large flat brush just to, you know, give me some misdirection. All my perfectionists, they hate this step. They hate all that. They, they want perfection. They want it to be so precise. But don't worry, I'm here to help you with that. And as you can see, I'm adding those imperfections. Look at this, I'm adding some plain blue. Now, of course, when you add those, that plain white on there, that's gonna add a pastel look. There you go, just showed you right there. And that tones it down. So if you're like, oh my gosh, mine's too dark, add a little bit of white on your brush, it'll tone it down real quick right away. No big deal. All right, so as you can see, I'm starting to encompass this nice little area. And I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna go ahead and add some red and blue, make a nice dark, deep purple. And as I keep going, I'm gonna make it darker and darker as I go down into this painting. What I'm doing now is I'm framing the edges. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's all technical, let me tell you. It's art. You can mess up, you can make mistakes, you can just do whatever you want. Look at that, I'm like adding some of that darkness into my areas over here, and a lot of people might take that as being like, oh shoot, you messed this thing up. Nope, I not. I am just going with the flow of things, and I don't care. Here we go. Is that some purple? Ooh, look at that. Beast mode. Some people get scared of this. Don't. Don't worry. I want you to mess this up. I want you to just kind of, this is just background stuff. There's no right or wrong. It's been a while since I've made a video, so bear with me if I'm not like in the mix so much. I'm just now getting my studio back. A lot of stuff going on in my life. There you go. I want you 
to see, no rhyme or reason. And if you know, again, you can add highlights in here if you want to, you can change the dynamic. I don't care. I want you to have fun with the paint. I want you to learn these paints and learn what's kind of going on. This texture, mistakes. This is, again, just some background stuff. Now, look at this. We've got some dark stuff going on. We've got a highlight, obviously, here. But we want to kind of keep encompassing some of this black with some uh, nice little dark areas here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of black into that purple and watch what it does. Again, with the framing. Adding plain color. With some of that black kind of dulls it out a little bit. We're gonna let this dry off just a bit. A good way to dry their paint off is just to kind of like spread it out like this, smooth it out. You'll, you'll see some artists like pick up a brand new brush that has no paint on it, just to help smooth it out. No big deal, you can do that anytime. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more blue up here. Now, again, this is a special painting we're doing. All right, there's a lot that's gonna happen in this. This is our first, very first layer. But we will be adding some like texture, some deep things going on with this painting. And you're more than welcome to paint your edges of your painting. I leave that entirely up to you if you wanna paint your edges. I kinda leave mine alone just because I have to teach so many people very quickly on how to paint. Okay, add some white in here. And there's still a little bit of black on my brush, so it's turning a little bit of gray, but I, I don't care. I'm gonna blend it all together with this large brush. Look at this, I got a flat, large brush right here. No big deal, this thing is a beast. It's gonna handle quite a bit, but we're gonna add some more in here, okay? So as you can see, abstract, it's messed up. We wanna make mistakes. I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy down, this big brush right here. And I'm gonna pick up a medium sized brush, put some plain white on there. And right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just get my highlight going. A nice little circle. Start off small. And you just kind of round out a little bit more. You can make your, this is going to be a, eventually a moon, but you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want, it's no big deal, it's all perspective eventually, and we'll add some glowing effect on that eventually, because that's what this painting is all about. So, we've got a lot of dark colors going on here, we need to highlight some of this. Now, it's still drying, you can see that coming off of my finger right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some plain white on this brush that I'm using. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a nice bit of a, like a, like a half circle going on here. It's okay, it's gonna turn light purple on you. That's just what it does because that bottom layer is drying off. At least we're using acrylic paint. And that helps dry this paint faster. A little bit of a rainbow. I'm gonna leave some of those borders just kind of down here. There you go, there's one layer. I'm gonna let that sit and dry off. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking this brush and I'm using it as a tool to kind of make some shapes. I'm kind of actually using this to our advantage, but I still wanna use this awesome thing in the background here. I've got so much going on. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and add this is a glow paint, all right? It's just a regular paint that I think I got at Walmart, but it's actually a pretty good price. It comes in this big tube. I'm gonna open this up. And now, I'm gonna leave this brush down. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Got so many brushes, I'm just kind of like right What I want to do is go ahead and add some of this glow base there. So actually, you can see it's strung right there. Don't worry, I'll use that to my advantage. Now, 
This is going to be kind of an invisible paint, but it also will be, um, you can see that it actually is making some highlighted effect on your painting. Don't worry, let's do that. Let's use that effect, let's have some fun with it, and let's make some kind of like spiraling rings or maybe even some highlights kind of happening on this. I want you to go ahead and just take some of that, glob it up right there. just sporadically disperse some of this glow paint on it. Now this glow paint tends to, it dries kind of invisible. I even have more invisible paint, it's like a UV paint. Um, sometimes I like to leave it on there just to know it's kind of painted. Um, again, but what I want to do is just at least cover some of this highlighted area, just kind of break it up some. Don't worry, I'm gonna add some more kind of glowing effects on here. It's very sporadic. I don't ever want to see you worrying about perfection with this because you know what, there's no need for it. It really isn't. You are the perfectionist. Right, you're perfect, just the way you are. But what we need to do is just jump out of that mindset of being like, okay, this painting needs to be perfect. And that's why I can paint this painting so quickly. It's because I just like that. And I encourage you to do the same. It's just, just like that. Like that. There's no reason for any perfection. Nature is perfect. I can see the highlights happening on this right now. I can see it kind of taking shape. So I know there's going to be some glowing effect eventually. And I've got some proper lights that I'll bring that out and amplify it even more. But again, a lot of people might not feel like, oh, mine's not working. Mine's not, you know, amplifying. Whatever the case, whatever they make up in their heads. <laughs> what you have to do if you're teaching or if you're learning, is get it out of your head. This is, it's okay, it's a learning process. Eventually when I turn these black lights on eventually, this will all glow, like a pretty amazing kind of glow. And what you need to do is just kind of have some fun with it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now those, those little brush strokes are gonna look like clouds eventually, I think. They're gonna, I, that's what I'm guessing they're gonna look like. They're gonna look like maybe there's some highlights going on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry off. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this brush off. Now, down here, we're gonna head back to it. Now, uh, it's still drying off a little bit, but I guarantee you, if I were to put that same brush with some plain white on it, you would get a brighter effect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All I'm doing is using plain white acrylic paint as a primer because it dries so fast. And I'm just adding this beautiful color on here. Mm -hmm. And just shaping it out and highlighting it even more. This is starting to dry off. Take a look, I've got a bristle right here. And it's bad oil. Ooh, got it. Sometimes I like keeping those bristles on there just so you can see that it is legit, it is real, that I literally painted this by hand. But no matter, here nor there, I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and you know what? I'm gonna fling some of this paint. I'm gonna add some stars. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and water it down. Let's water it down. All you do is you put some plain water on your brush and some like loose bristle brush. And then you just start flicking and flinging some stars. This is a great step. Again, all we're doing is working on background stuff. So this is not the focal point. It should encourage you to make even more mistakes. People still get a little bit frustrated with it, but don't worry. You'll get over it. 
bring some down here. Bring them down into your nice little sky down here. It's just lonely. Want some glow down here eventually. Wait till they turn these lights on. And I'm staying about I'd say an inch to two inches away from the canvas with some heavily watered down paint and making some flicks and flings of these bristles that are just throwing this paint right on top, making this elaborate kind of galaxy effect. Now, if you're getting paint on your fingers, Tightening up my finger. That paint's starting to already dry on my finger, and it's like literally tightening it up. <laughs> it's so weird. It's a weird feeling. No big deal. All right, we got our galaxy forming around this. I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy down this brush. Get its purpose. Take a look. You can see my finger. It's got like all that paint on there. I'm gonna dip it in this one. Some of it. Some of it. There we go. Man, my finger's getting demolished. It's okay. Because <laughs> I'm here to teach you. All right. So we've got our general idea of our moon, our background. We've got this kind of like half circle thing going right here. What I'm gonna do now is start using my uh, medium sized brush and we gotta, we gotta start making some shapes. We gotta start making this bad boy happen, all right? An easy way to do that is to go ahead and outline a lot of your stuff. You need to start drawing, okay? And a lot of people are like, you know what? I don't, <laughs> I'm not comfortable drawing. I don't like it. Let's start with some easy steps down here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a nice little bit of, this is like kind of an oval. Now it's almost like a foot, okay? So just keep that in mind. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make an orange, or like kind of a, an orange slice right there, or a banana, whatever you wanna call it. Whatever shapes kind of like just get in your mind, that's what we're doing. Nice, rounded off shape right here. Tell me, what kind of shape does that look like? You tell me, because I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in with plain white. I'm using the same brush, by the way. Same brush, no big deal. If you keep using like a lot of the same paints, brushes, everything that you keep using, I want you to see that that's what it's all about. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead Looks like a leaf, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Look at this. So that's what it is. It's just all about making shapes and breaking down this paint. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make a nice little line going right up here. And some of you are like, oh my goodness. If you need to, stop rewinding. What I'm doing now is painting the moon. So I got some inspiration from one of my actual painting party uh, gals that like comes to our events. Making one of these uh, gnome paintings. And then the director and I said, let's make it a glow show. Let's, let's have some fun with it. So what we're doing now is we're creating this gnome glow show. It's really cool. This is like specifically for a, a, a property that I've been working with or um, a resident event 
videos. Okay, I'm gonna come back up here with our moon. I'm gonna go ahead and just break up some of this. I know we got a lot of glow paint on there, but I wanna break it up still some and add shape a little bit to that moon. With the plain white, I'm using the same brush, but I'm using plain white. And as you can see, now you can see there's a little bit more of a circular moon going on right there. So take a look, we've got our gnome. That's a huge step for you guys. Like you would literally, we just broke this down with shapes, colors, you know, we, we worked on our background first and then what we're gonna do now is we're, this is the focal point. This is what you wanna make sure that you're having some fun with. And you know what, that's what we do. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dab or blot some texture on this spoon. It's so funny because there's still a little bit of purple on this, so I'm gonna add some glow paint. Okay, here we go. We've got our nail. Now we can add so many different things in here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing in my water cup. I'm done with that bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and touch this down here. Yes, it is drying off and look with this beautiful color I've got here, this red. I'm gonna go ahead and add some red right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of work around the shapes that I made. Just gonna focus in that roundish, beautiful, beautiful color. Look at this, it's standing out, you can see it. Now, it depends on what kind of acrylic paint you've got at home. Some of it's thinner, some of it's thicker. Some will cover this right away. Some of you have let this painting dry off quite a bit and it will cover it immediately. I'm doing this all in one shot, just to show you what I do on my events. Voila, look at this. Damn. I can't wait to see what my artist will do with this. You know, it's so funny because some of them want to be so challenged. Sean, can you challenge me? Can you like literally, you know, let's, let's figure this out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's, it's all in fun. We're going to do this. And it gets a little bit more. Like, all right. We've got this. We're going to go ahead and let that dry off. There's a lot of paint on there. I know there's a lot of paint. But we're going to have some fun now. We're going to go ahead and make a nice bit of purple. Okay? Blue and red makes purple. We're gonna make this gnome have a purple hat. Now, as you see, I'm using my regular colors quite a bit right now. There's no glow going on except for that background. We actually finished, you know, working on some of that background stuff. And what we want to do is we want to add our base layers right now. Just like we did with our black, our, our blue, all that kind of awesome coloring right now. We want to add our base colors, so take a look. You've got that. Now this gnome, actually, we got to break it down to shapes. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Just to darken it up so it's a little bit more. Covering the canvas points and I'm breaking this thing down bit by bit just to make sure that I'm getting all these little details. Now, as you can see, bam, it is taking shape. That's exactly what we want. There's a lot of paint on this brush. I'm going to go ahead and set this in my water cup now. Brush. I'm 
I'm gonna start working on some hair and some texture. A lot of that's gonna be blue and white. It's a light blue effect. So, there is brush strokes you need to like think about. There are actual angles and little spikes. I like to call them little spikes because this helps you kind of like just let loose of the brush a little bit. Makes you not hold on so tight to it. Very lightly little spikes, little brush strokes, no big deal. Again, all we're doing is we're adding base layers to that one here. But what it does is it teaches you texture. It teaches you depth. And that is so important. Like, depth, texture, all those kind of things are so, so important. See what I mean? As you start advancing and start painting better than I can paint, you can start figuring it out. You'll be like, oh my god. That's what it was about. That's what it's about. Now some of these you can make a little bit loose. As touch right there, again, all of it is still drying, so just be patient with it. Make no worry about it. You can see these are just our base layers and we'll be adding so much texture. But that's the base layer. And with this painting event, this one is gonna be a go, 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 follow me, follow me, follow me, because there is detail. And I literally have to fit this within just a couple of hours just to teach people how to paint this. So with your small brush, you can add little details. You can add all these little things. The details are what really make this such a fun painting. Should probably actually do this down here. Check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and a little bit of some shadowing on this little thing he's sitting on. There you go, we got a start, and now we're gonna let this bad boy dry off a little bit. This is our base layers. It's gonna be glowing up in just a few moments. All right, here comes the fun part. I got a new plate, because the other one was like totally taken over. But what I got are some special paints. I've got some UV paint. I've got a pink right here. We'll have some fun with that, just a little bit right there. And then I've got, you know, our standard glow paint right there. I'm gonna go ahead. Now there is a UV paint that I use too sometimes. It's really rad. I love seeing the effects of it. So I've got this guy right there. Um, 
A little bit of a random color that we're gonna be using during this is gonna be an orange. I only need just a small tidbit of it. Look at that, see, I don't need much. Done. Okay, now, here's where things get kind of interesting with our painting. We want to add some glowing effects on this guy, all right? So there's so many things that come into this. Now, you can literally see that this is the base layer of everything. We've got everything kind of happening right here. But what you can do now is you can start outlining some different things. What I want to do is at least get this orange kind of glowing real quick here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that glow paint with some of that fluorescent orange. Just making kind of a, a nose or a color right here. It's kind of a skin tone. And I'm going to smooth it out just because we don't want it to be showing any pores or anything like crazy like that. But look at that. It definitely worked out in our advantage. Now, that brush has got some orange in it, so you know what? i got to switch it up. I'm going to go ahead and take a small flat brush and add some of this glow paint right here. That I can get. see that that moon is shining right on us. Now glow paint typically is very thin. Okay, so you're gonna have to make some streaks of this. You're gonna have to make, you know, just you know, kind of get used to it, but it is such a thin paint. And what you want to do is at least try to get a pretty good amount on there just so when the lights come on, the special lights, the black lights, that it can catch some of that. A lot of people are going to have a tough time with this because I can tell that this is such a liquid paint. It's so terrible. Of course, they make it look a little thicker than the version of it, but I'm sure there is something out there like that. But one day I'll find out. I'm going to add some highlights around here. There we go. You typically like to add these highlights around the edges because that's where you're getting Now the, the event that I'm going to do, oh, it's going to be pretty wild because we are going to have black lights with this. We are going to have um, some amazing lighting effects, things like that. But when you're doing it from home, it's no big deal. I, I'm just teaching you the producers. Get this. And eventually, hopefully one day, we'll paint it up. Let's go ahead and add those little spots. I like some of these mushrooms. That's what it is. Oh, I can reveal it finally. It is a little bit of a mushroom piece. Thing. Again, the glow paint. Look how thin it is. It just, it just liquefies anything it touches. So what you got to do is kind of like grab a big glop of it, which typically I don't promote. But since we're, you know, not adding more layers on here, it's okay. There you go. So you're seeing dimension now starting to happen. You're seeing some flow. And that, my friends, is what it's all about. Now you can add all your own colors on here. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. You can add more highlights on this beard. Bits of hair kind of coming off. Or let's see like this one. It's got a lot of purple on it, so it's adding texture. I'm gonna set this big tape on. Without like the black lights coming on, 
So you're already starting to get used to the paint, you know what's happening. But when I get the black lights on, that's when you can really start detailing it and start messing with it. A lot of artists that do black light art won't show you their little details of how they switch back and forth and back and forth. Shame on them. Gotta show these people how you know it's not that close. Are you scared? And there you go. You got a little bit of gnome. Now, if you want to add highlights, you can even switch it up. I recommend you add highlights into this painting here. I'm going to go ahead and add some white on this. You can do so many different things with this. This moon is still drying off. I'm going to let that bad boy drain off. I'm going to go ahead and add some white, plain white acrylic paint. It won't glow, but what it will do is it'll add these awesome highlights. Detail mode. Detail mode's kind of fun. There you go guys. Now you can obviously keep working on this for days and days. You could add little circles, you could add glowing little glow circle right there. You can't see it too well because it's invisible, that glow paint. But when it is in the proper lighting, oh man. go and watch this I'm gonna swirl I right, got 60 watts of sweet goodness, black light. That looks pretty badass, I love that. But check this out. Let's go ahead and check out the fan. So, initial thoughts is I think I could use a little bit more glow paint on this, so. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in the dark with his black light on and just see what I can add on this. So let me show you the paint that I'm using. Look at that. Sick. Glow show. 